Okay, so in this video, you guys are going to be learning how to knead tea. To knead tea, you have to know the dentition, the arch, the quadrant, and type of two. So let's go over um, each one of these things. So what do we mean by the dentition? Well, us humans, we have two types of dentition. We have the primary dentition, and then we get the permanent dentition. For the primary dentition, we only get, this is our first set of teeth. Um, the other names that um, this set of teeth is known for is milk teeth, deciduous teeth, or baby teeth. For the permanent dentition, another name would be secondary teeth or adult teeth. But for this purpose of naming teeth, we are only going to say primary or permanent. So a little bit of review, the primary teeth, we only have 20 teeth in total, 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. In the permanent dentition, we have in total 32 teeth, 16 on the top and 16 teeth on the bottom. So the first thing that we need to identify is if the tooth that we want to name is a primary tooth or if it is a permanent tooth. That's the first thing that we say. Okay, now with the arch. Now we have to say if it's, if the tooth is on the top arch or in the bottom arch. So the teeth that are on the top arch, they are called maxillary. And the teeth that are on the bottom arch are called mandibular. So maxillary and mandibular. Review of the anatomy. These teeth that are on the top, they are on this bone. And this bone is called the maxilla. And that's why these teeth are called maxillary. Because they are in this bone. Now, the bottom teeth are in this bone, which is the only bone that moves in our head, which is the mandible. So let me put this on the side. The teeth that are here in this bone, which is the mandible, are called mandibular teeth. So these are the mandibular teeth because they are in the mandible. And these are the maxillary teeth because they are in the maxilla. Now the quadrant. Now we have to identify if the tooth is on this side or on that side. So how do we do that? So we divide the mouth into four sections. So we're going to do an imaginary line right in the middle to divide this side from this side. And also we're gonna do another imaginary line dividing the two from the top and bottom, from the maxillary teeth and the mandibular teeth. When we are naming the tooth, we always have to keep in mind that is the patient's side, not our side. This side, we call it upper right because it's the patient's right side, the patient's right side. This side over here, we call it upper left because it's the patient's left side. Patient's left. This one lower left, again the patient's left. And this one lower right, again the right side. Don't get confused with that. It's not our side as always. We're talking about the patient. We're identifying the patient's too. Okay, next we have to identify the type of T. So as humans, we have four types of teeth. We have incisors, we have canines, 
premolars and molars. We only have four types of teeth. Now we're going to identify these teeth here in the mouth. These two teeth over here are right in the midline. We're going to call these central. Central, because they are in the center. And these are incisors. Central, we call these, that type, incisors. And these incisors, they have an edge, like a knife. So, similar to a knife, their use is to cut. So, because of that edge, they're used to cut food. So, these two are central incisors because they're right in the center. Now, the one that's next to these centrals are called laterals, lateral incisors, again, because this type of tooth has that edge. So these are on the side, so that's why they're lateral, and the one next to the central, they're lateral. So as you can see, the same type of teeth that you have on the right side of the patient, you're gonna have it on the left side also. In all of the quadrants, you're gonna have the same type of teeth. So central incisor, lateral incisor. Now the corner teeth are called canine. So this is the canine and it has one cusp. That's how you can identify it. They have the longest root. So the canines are used to tear food. Right next to the canine, we got the premolars. So before the molars, we got premolars. And the um, we have two of these. So the first one we see right after the canine, we call it first premolar. And then the next one is called the second premolar. Because that's the second premolar that we see. Some doctors would call them bicuspids because it has a cuspid here and a cuspid here in the lingual. One in the buccal and one in the lingual. The canine only has one cuspid. And sometimes you will, um, some people will refer to these teeth as cuspid. And these, by cuspid, by means two cuspids. So first premolar, second premolar. Now the next one is molar. So the first one we see is the first molar and then the second molar. In this type of dot, we do not see the third molar here. To have a full set of the permanent dentition, we would have the third molar and in all the quadrants, and then we would have 32 teeth. But just for you, for you to know, this only has the first molar, the second molar, the third molar is also known as the wisdom tooth. So, um, and you get these um, teeth after the age of 18 or around that age. And review, central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, and then of course we have the third molar, but we don't see it in this type of dot. So these are the type of teeth. Are you ready to name teeth? Okay, so first we need to know the dentition, if it's primary or permanent. Then we have to know the arch, if it's in the maxilla or if it's a mandibular tooth. Then we have to know the quadrant, the patient's side, if it's on the right side or on the left side. And then we have to identify the type of tooth that we are looking at. If it's an incisor, if it's a canine, a premolar, or a molar. Let's start with this one. How would you name this two? First, what dentition is this? This would be, very good, permanent dentition. 
Now, in what arch is this located? Very good, in the maxillary. And now, in what quadrant? Very good, the right quadrant, because it's the patient's right. And then, what type of tooth is this? Yes, central incisor. It's right in the center is the central incisor. So the name of this tooth would be permanent maxillary right central incisor. Good job. Let's try another one. So let's do this tooth. So what dentition is it? Yes, it's a permanent dentition. Okay, what arch is it? Yes, it's the mandibular arch, it's in the bottom. What quadrant is it? Remember patient's quadrant? Yes, the left. And what type of tooth is this? Yes, it is the first molar. So, how do we name this tooth? It would be permanent mandibular left first molar. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one. Okay, first, what type of dentition is this? Yes, it is primary. You see, they are baby teeth. Primary, okay. What arch is it on? Yes, it is the maxillary. It's on the top. Okay, what quadrant is it? Yes, it is on the right side, the patient's right. And what type of tooth is this? Yes, it is a canine, only has one cusp. This is the central, the lateral, the canine. Very good. So now you know how to name teeth. 